happening within the last 30 minutes, Virginia lawmakers moved forward on a bill to allow a casino in Fairfax County. The controversial proposal still has a long way to go, but first it needs the approval of Virginia's General Assembly. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Drew Wilder is live tonight in Tyson's where the casino could be built. Drew, I know there's a lot going on that happened in this last 30 minutes. What can you tell us? Yeah, well, as you guys mentioned, Sean, this bill is now moving forward through another Senate committee, so it could take its next step maybe within the next week or so. But we want to show you the area where it's proposed that a possible casino could go in Tyson's. We're right along Route 7. This is the Spring Hill Metro Station. State Senator Dave Marsden tells me that this casino would go in what he called a former auto dealership lot. Well, there's a couple to choose from. There's one on that side of Route 7. There's also one over here. You can see the old storefront there. Well, the whole casino is not going to fit right there, but just behind the Spring Hill Metro Station, there is a big plot of land that looks pretty ripe for development. Now, while this is being discussed and debated at the state level, it's already stirring up a very hot conversation right here in Fairfax County. Some Virginia lawmakers are rolling the dice on a massive casino and convention center in Tyson's to help offset declining commercial tax revenue. Many in the community are not taking the bet. A group of casino opponents loaded onto a bus this morning bound for Virginia's capital, where the bill is up for debate in a Senate committee. It will be a presence and we'll make our interest in our opposition to this known. I don't know anybody that wants this. As opponents shuttled off to Richmond, we shuffled into Tyson's to ask people in the neighborhood. For me, it's okay. Tyson's, I think it's great here. No, I live in Vienna. I, I don't want it here. <laughs> and here I am stirring up debate during an otherwise pleasant mother-daughter afternoon stroll. You don't want it in Reston, though. You want it in my hometown, exactly. not yours. Yes, I do. No, yes, thank I do. you. <laughs> in Richmond, the bill cleared its first hurdle last night in subcommittee, where State Senator Dave Marsden explained that a state review concluded Virginians are spending more than $100 million every year gambling across the Potomac at MGM National Harbor. I'm getting tired of paying for Maryland schools. I think it's time we paid for Virginia schools. If the General Assembly approves the bill and the governor signs it, Fairfax County voters will hold all of the cards in their hand because final approval would be decided on the ballot during a future election. Something that I thought was interesting in the committee vote that was just taken that moved this bill on was how the vote actually came down. There were two Northern Virginia Democrats who voted against it. And remember, State Senator Dave Marsden from Fairfax County, he's a Democrat. Usually you certainly see some party alignment on mm -hmm. votes like this, but you also see like regional clusters kind of voting along the same line. But we saw Senator Danica Rome from Prince William vote against it. Senator Adam Eben from Alexandria vote against it. And then you had Republicans in support of this. I think what this really comes down to is that ultimately this bill would leave it up to the voters and a lot of times politicians see that and they say okay let the voters decide mm -hmm. the next step that this could possibly take at the earliest would be next week when it heads to the senate finance committee you guys all right drew i know that you mentioned already this still has to get through the state level first but what about fairfax county supervisors yeah. where do they stand Right, so the county as a body says that it does not have any official position yet. I spoke with the Board of Supervisors chairman just last week about this. He says he doesn't have enough information and hasn't run enough course for him to make up his mind about it, but he does like the idea of the county and the voters having control over its own destiny here. However, Supervisor Walter Alcorn from the uh, Reston area also represents part of the Tyson's area. He is very opposed to this. Of course, the rumors about a possible casino started in Reston, and he was very opposed to it here when it actually came down and we learned that it was only going to be in Tyson's if anywhere. He says he's still opposed to it because he thinks there's a lot better, more appropriate development that could go in these locations, you guys. But we'll wait and see. The mm -hmm. soonest it could come up again next week. Yeah, the issue is dividing family members. <laughs> it, it, it's got a long way to go, but we, we know you're going to stay on top of it. Yeah. Thank you, Drew. Thanks, Drew.